Hello, welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. And the Ghana Premier League comes to a close this weekend. The final round of matches all were played across the various league centres. But it's, there's still so much more to fight for as who wins the title is not yet decided with Bichem United and Mediama uh, in a tank of war there. Mediama need just at least a draw in their remaining game to clinch the title, while Bichem United will need a win and a possible slip by Mediama to clinch the title there. Well, a crowd of folk are also in some dog fights, in relegation dog fight there, and we'll bring you some up to speed on that. But in terms of the two teams that are vying for the title race in the Ghana Premier League at the moment, it's Bechem United and Mediama. Now, Bechem United, in the last few games, they have picked up tremendously, and this is their last five games. And in just their recent game, they defeated Samatex by two goals to no. They defeated Mediama. Uh, Medi they lost to Mediama by two goals to one. Then uh, they managed to get a win over Legion Cities. Then they got, uh, uh, then they lost to Real Tamale United and got a win against Brecum Chelsea. So that's some um, three wins and two losses in their last five games. And that have put them in this position where in the event Mediama fall off, then Bethlehem United will be crowned champions. But Mediama themselves, they've picked up some very crucial wins in the very final weeks of the Ghana Premier League, with notable one of them being the five goals to one drubbing of a cry at the Crowd Sports Stadium. And it was at that game that they climbed to the top of the table there. So let's take a look like at uh, the Ghana uh, Premier League. So that's uh, Mediama and their run of form against in Sancho Man, they lost, then picked up against Bechem United, defeated the Kraha Folk by five goals to one, defeated Confines by two goals to one, then some attacks were able to hold them to a nil-nil draw, and, and, uh, and that's uh, how they managed to stay top of the table. So it looking very crucial now. Mediama will be in touch with their uh, executives and even the chief of the area has been rallying the fans of Midyama to come to the Akon Park on Sunday and ensure that the team wins its first ever Ghana Premier League title. This is how the table is looking like and you can see Midyama who are top of the table with 57 points and just three points separating them and Bechem United who are on 54 points. You can see in terms of the wins that they have accumulated this season, 17 wins, they've drawn six, lost 10. And for Bechem United, 16 wins, six draws, and just 11 losses in that process. So what it means at the moment, as far as goal difference is concerned, Bechem United have uh, the better goal difference against Mediama, but it's three points separating the two sides and any slip by Mediama will see Bechem United clinch the title in the event they are able to win their game this weekend against Tamalit, against Ediana Stars. Now, Ediana themselves are in third position, but their position does not put them in contention for anything. They are in contention now for a top four position. Likewise, Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Bibiani Gold Stars, who are in their second season in the Ghana Premier League, appear to be picking up very, very creditably line fifth and will be hoping to finish at the very least in the uh, top five. Dreams FC are also in there. They've been able to uh, escape the relegation fight. They were in there some two weeks ago, but a few wins in uh, recent time has ensured that they are pretty much safe there. Brickham Chelsea, they have a game against a Kraha to folk and have vowed to defeat a Kraha to folk and deepen the woes of a Kraha to folk and even possibly get a Kraha to folk relegated. It'll bring you the dynamics of why a Kraha to folk might be relegated this weekend. And uh, we'll just bring you dynamics of that. But Summer Techs are also in the mix there with 46 points. Real Term United, 46 points. And San Germain, 46 points. And that is why it is very cagey. You look at the points build up there. Then you come to a Kraha folk, and they have 45 points. Currently United, who are 12, have 44 points. Then Accra Lions, 44 points, and Legan City is 43 points. Now, this is why it is very crucial for Accra to folk. Great Olympics are also on 42 points. And what that means is that in the event, Accra Lions, Karela United, Legan City, Tamale City, and Great Olympics are able to win their games, and Accra to folk loses their game, what it means is that Accra to folk might be playing in Division 1 come next season.
for Grey Olymp, for Ken Faisal and Kotoku Royals, their relegation have been confirmed and they'll be just playing for fun this weekend. But joining me uh, for some more perspective on this is my colleague Fifi Manfred, the birthday boy. Fifi, happy birthday to you and thanks for joining us on Prime Sports tonight. It's a big game in Takwa. In fact, Midiama need to get the win. And I was just trying to reach uh, Patrick Akoto, and he just told me that they are in some serious meeting in Takwa at the moment to ensure they're able to wrap up that game and clinch their first ever Ghana Premier League title. Fifi, you have been following it closely. How did Midiama get themselves in this position? Because for a very long time, it was a Diana Stars who were looking forward to possibly clinching the title. Uh, thank you very much, Musba. Um, I think that's, first of all, where Midiama are, I'm sorry, but speaks to the fact that our league is not competitive at all. Mm. And if you look at how Midiama started this season, they started with, um, at some point in time, some, about three or four different ho uh, head coaches who have yeah. left. Omar Abdul Rabi was there at some point in time. Mm. Um, Ignacio Seifo, so they have changed a lot of managers. And, and even notably, David Duncan. David Duncan started yeah. the season with them. And, you know... Ex 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 exactly. David Duncan with Omar Abdul Rabi as his assistant um, at the time. And then, there you are. There you have it now. They've changed a lot of managers mm. now. It didn't seem to work on well, but it is the consistency, and of course, the inconsistency, the consistency of Mediama in the last five games. They were the only Ghana Premier League team side mm. that gotten consistent wins in the last five to six games. Where, on the other hand, if you look at Adriana Stars, they were not consistent mm. because nobody seemed to be consistent in the Ghana Premier League for a lot of for a lot, very long time. Mm. Adriana were at the apex of the league and they, they were enjoying mm -hmm. um, the, the fact that they were there alone. But just when Midiama picked the pace mm. and then kept on winning at the Akun Park and then got some good results away, mm. they have usurped Adriana Stars. It's the inconsistency of Adriana Stars. Well, I mean, and I'm particularly it, worried mm. for a team like um, Bekim United also. Yeah, I mean, just 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 uh, to, to, to get your prediction on this, do you see Midiama wrapping up the Premier League title or you think a surprise might just pull up uh, at the Akun Park and we might just see Bekim United? Because Bekim United themselves, they, are, they have a very big game against Adriana Stars. So... I'm not sure if Indiana Stars want to lose for Mitchell United to claim the title in the event Midiama loses, but do you see Midiama wrapping this up at the Akon Park on Sunday? Yes, yes, I, I think that they have everything um, all set and done now to get a Ghana Premier League wrapped up for this season. I mean, if you look at where they came from and where they have now, and especially they have picked up the, the consistency at the right point in time, just when Indiana and Bechim United have been inconsistent mm. in this lap part. They have a home game mm. to play for. In Takwa, there is a stadium that possibly yeah. home fields will be, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, opening less season. Mm. They will need this as a big commemoration for that stadium. So I think that everything is set for Mediama to claim the trophy. Well, interesting there. Well, uh, Fifi, just hang in there because I'll be picking your thoughts on the Champions League pretty shortly. Of course, we know Great Olympics and Carly United are all still in the fight for relegation, uh, you know, to try and play. Uh, what they call it, top flight football come next season. But also happening this weekend is the CAF Champions League second leg between Al Hali and Widat Casablanca. Of course, Widat Casablanca versus Al Hali. Al Hali won that first round, two goals to one in Egypt. But the second round is happening in Rabat. And my colleague Daniel Cranston is all the way in Morocco. Daniel, thanks the for joining us. of the first leg where Al Hali managed to win it. But would, would that Casablanca, would that Athletic actually? Uh, getting that all-important away goal there. Daniel, thanks for joining us again. And uh, tell me, how are the Widat fans, you know, looking forward to the game on Sunday? Are they going to retain the title? Is that what they are saying in Rabat at the moment? Yeah, that's what they are hoping for. Um, the interesting thing is that this in this season's Champions League, their home form hasn't been as convincing as they would have wanted. Mm. Um, yes, they've won and games during the group stages. But in the last round mm. against the Mamelodi Sundowns, they drew the game at home goalless, despite Sundowns having two red cards. Mm. And then they managed to go away in South Africa and grab two away goals in that 2-2 two -two draw. Mm. But this time around, it's a bit different. They will have to uh, beat uh, our Ali by two clear goals, or at least uh, by a goal to nail and not concede in order to do that. And then mm. um, they, they know their team is capable of of working on this when it matters, especially in the final. Mm. But they also worry of the fact that they've not been as convincing at home mm. um, this season. Remember that they've only scored more than one goal at home. Mm. Um, that was in the group stages 
and all other wins have come in narrow one nil wins and of course i mentioned that goal let's draw against south sundown so as against last season where they were basically ripping teams apart left right center at home mm. this time around it's not quite the same but mm. they are defending champions and you expect them to be able to live up to the bat but in terms of the atmosphere how is it like because you know the north africans enjoy quality football and the atmosphere is always great yes it's it's it's, it's brilliant in fact when i Landed in this morning, I was on the, um, came in right when some of the Ali fans were also coming into town. Mm. And they are pretty confident, mm. although they've considered that uh, one away goal, they still mm. feel like their team can come in at least mm. and get a goal. Because if you watch the first leg, Ali were completely dominant. Mm. They've looked at uh, without home form this season and feel like they can actually give them a run for their money. In terms of the home fans, mm. yeah, in terms of the home fans, they are, they are passing. Look, it's, it's, a lovely way to end the season. Yeah. Um, defending champions, playing the second leg at home, and all to do. They are mm. playing at home. Yes, I mentioned that. Yeah. They are still thinking about their home form, but mm. um, the feeling around is that their team will, will, will live up to, to what they know to live up to the building. Well, Daniel, from Morocco, let me take you to Istanbul because that's where the Champions League final will be happening. I just want to get your quick thoughts. I'm not going to ask you any questions. What are your expectations? That's going to come on Saturday before the final, you know, where you are in Morocco on Sunday. What's your expectation ahead of Manchester City versus Inter Milan? Give me some 40 second preview of it. And Fifi, I want to hear from you also in 40 seconds. So, so get your thoughts ready. Daniel, your time starts. Um, look, it's, it's, it's going to be a thrilling game. We know that Manchester City are by far favorites on paper, but trust me, this game is going to be much closer than, than we know it to be. City has tend to struggle against teams that play in the three-back. If you remember two goals, Chelsea two years ago beat them in the final, they played a three-back. He struggled against um, Tottenham Hotspur in the past couple of seasons. They played a three-back. Brentford, mm. the only team that did a double over Manchester City this season, played a three-back. Mm. And Inter Milan, we know that, and we know that they are cup record also under Simeone, back-to-back -back Italian cup winners. They literally do not lose in cup finals. Yeah. And um, when it comes to uh, uh, Simeone, exactly. So, it's going to be quite close, but honestly, look, I don't think Pep Guardiola is going to lose back-to-back and -back Champions League finals. He's already lost two seasons ago. I don't think it's going to happen again. Mm. Interesting. Manfred, where do you stand? Are you possibly seeing a surprise? Is Inter Milan going to do a Chelsea over Manchester City? Well, I think that either um, Inter Milan gets at least where 1-0 win or Manchester City wallops them. That mm. is how it's going to be. It's never going to be in the middle. Either they are wallops by Man City. And I think, like Danny said, it's going to be a KG game, a solid international Milan team against a very good Pep Guardiola team that can find those openings. So for me, it's either Inter gets 1-0 win to make it, or Man City just make it and give us some 4-0, something like that. Guys, we're watching it at the Aviation Social Centre tomorrow. Make a date. Join us there. We're going to have great fun. Rep your Jesse, and we'll have all the fun there. My name is Rizak Musbar. That's all time. We're playing us for Prime Sports tonight. And the weekend... Do enjoy the football that comes.